The penultimate day of the Star World Championship was a crucial day for all 87 teams here because after race five of six, they could discard their worst result. So by the end of the day, the leaderboard would be reshaped into a championship winning form. With the southerly thermal wind looking solid, most of the fleet fired out towards the left-hand side of the track, just off the pretty host town of Malchezene. Greek sailors Emilios Papathanasiou and Antonis Chotras yet again showed their mastery of the pin-end start to command the first beat, and they led this crucial race around the top mark. The Italian team of Diego Negri and Sergio Lambertenghi were also on good form, reading local conditions perfectly to contend for the lead. Sergio is from Lake Garda, and these guys were second overall going into race five. Top of the leaderboard going into race five were Americans Augie Diaz and Arnie Boltins, flying the Stars and Stripes on July 4th, Independence Day from the colonial rule of those dastardly Brits. Diaz and Boltins put in a commanding performance, but on the approach to the finish line, they engaged in a close quarters battle with Ivan Mellaby and Bruno Prada, jostling to the line, but Mellaby and Prada were outmaneuvered by the Americans who took the gun. Fantastic racing. I knew the, the, you know, with a throw out, uh, things would change uh, dramatically. So I, I wasn't into the uh, idea that we could win. Uh, but I think having uh, a nice race today uh, gives us the opportunity to finish top five. And if that happens, I would be very happy. So the discard has indeed reshaped the overall leaderboard, with the German danger men Robert Staniek and Fristjof Klein now 10 points clear of Orgi Diaz and Arnie Boltins. And then just two points separating Melobi and Prada, Negri and Lambertengi, and Fuchs and Seifert. Any of these crews could take the Star World Championship trophy, one of the most prestigious and impressive pieces of silverware in the sport of sailing. Stay with us to find out exactly who will get their hands on it this year.